Hi guys, so somebody asked me to do a video on Lionsgate, so I'll do a read for you as well, um, but what can we expect from Lionsgate? Well, what it is, is it's a portal, um, some people might call it a stargate, it's because it happens in Leo season, um, today, AA, um, then, you know, that's why we call it Lionsgate. So, um, yeah, what can we expect from it? Well, what it is, is it's activating our DNA, our ascension. Um, so we can expect to be um, more empathic, feeling um, surges of energy. We can be actually quite drained from this. Um, you can have flu-like symptoms like aching of the body, feeling very tired, um, overwhelmed with emotion um, from like, well, we came straight, you know, from 26th of July, it peaks today on A8 and it continues until the 12th of August. So, um, you know, you can expect some of these things and just really like, oh, what's going on with me? Um, but the thing is as well, like, it's sort of like judgment day. So it sort of reveals to you your strengths, um, maybe some illusions you've been telling yourself. Um, you know, you sort of like come around to them or sort of awaken to them that, oh, maybe that wasn't right. For example, um, maybe you thought somebody was your false twin. Meditating through this time will bring you um, a lot more answers to what's real, okay? Um, so you may receive more downloads, more messages, um, just things like that in general. But what somebody asked me to do was a reading, what we can expect and what will the energies be. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys, a reading, okay? So this is for anybody who watches um, this video, what messages they will need during this time. What will, two of wands, straight away jumping out, two of wands. So. So take it in. Maybe you'll see some messages in this card. I remember looking at this card and um, on, I think it was Queen of Cups Tarot. And she, when I looked at this card, I was more focused on the volcanoes in the card. Um, so for some of you, you may feel like overwhelmed with emotion that you're ready to erupt. What I saw in this card when I first seen it was... Um, Disney Pixar's Lava Song. So it's about two people, um, you know, they sing this um, song because they're lonely and one of the lavas is below water and they, you know, it hears the other one singing. All they want is somebody to lava, <laughs> but they want somebody to love and they're calling out to them and they can't quite see each other yet. Um, so... Yeah, that's what they do there. And that, just check out the song. I'll try and put a link in the description box. Sorry about the nails, not done. I've got so much going on that, you know, it's just not a priority of mine. Um, but with the two of wands, the gate, the lion's gate here, okay? So what we can um, expect is that this gate will be open for you. So it's open to these um, messages coming in for you guys. Um, maybe this flow of water will be like um, surges of emotion and you're just like, where did that come from? Um, so remember to ground yourself during this time. Um, go for walks in nature here, look, because um, she stood on um, the ground her. So, yeah, it could be that you're holding the door open for somebody from your past looking back. And at this time, you'll decide whether to carry on, move on without them or not. Um, so it's like a decision time sort of thing. Um, if this card is resonating with you. Um, yeah, like. Like you'll 
clear out any things that was illusions, anything that were holding you back. You're going to feel more strength to be able to move forward um, and maybe keep the door open, but keep moving forward with your life here with this card. So maybe that's what you'll expect here. It's like... Um, You'll be in a much better place, I feel, to make a decision now. So it's like understanding spiritually, okay, I can't just sit at home and wait for this person to return. I will continue with my life. I know they'll catch me up when they are ready to catch me up. Like the lava song, you know, um, one... Um, when it erupts, it, it goes back under the water. So they switch places. So it's like the runner and the chaser. So they switch places and eventually they come together in the song. <laughs> so the four of wands, 11, 11, right? So we know this is a very spiritual time and it's about setting healthy boundaries. Okay. Um, and it's, saying that people will you'll start building like new friendships new relationships um and more positive people will gravitate towards you now okay um so as well again look at this card again i feel like you should be meditating here you know um the more you focus on gratitude as well here i'm picking up so the more you know you're grateful or oh, thanks for the good time so um you know if you are feeling overwhelmed to calm down these waters here um just remember to have gratitude like count your blessings rather than focusing on any negative so if you start to feel overwhelmed um yeah really just count those blessings and um Focus on what makes you happy at this time. Spend time doing things that make you happy. And, you know, the more positive energy you put out there, the more positive you'll receive back. So um, it's a very testing time because you're so heightened, your emotions. So um, you may feel like people are trying to, well, people are getting on your nerves or you're picking up other people's emotions where... Um, you can feel quite irritated and want to react. So, um, yeah, just ground yourself during this time. Sorry, I'm looking at the card to read the card. Um, yeah, ground yourself during this time to bring calmer waters, to calm your emotions. Just remember to meditate. This looks like yoga mats to me as well here. So um, you might be wanting to do some exercises, some yoga, anything to feel more in touch with the divine spirit at this time, because that is about a oneness, people coming together, um, the collective consciousness working together here for a greater good. And this four of wands is like very positive. And like I say, it's 11-11 there. So we have 11 and 11-11. Also, we have the ace of wands jump out. So um, you will find that opportunities will arise um, from the more positivity you are. Look at this cat. He's enjoying um, himself. And the more you enjoy yourself, the more opportunities will come around. So like um, Lionsgate, it's going to open up doors for you, open up gates for you, um, your ascension. So it's always a positive thing to get an ace. So this can be offers coming in at this time, people just being drawn to you for more positivity, wanting to ask you to go out, can be friends um, asking you to go out, but it also can be romantic partners coming forward to, you know, do you want to go out? Um, do you want to communicate here? Um, shall we get things moving forward here? This is what it is. So if you want to know what if the you know is it an illusion or um is it true is it false has your um soulmate come forward yet if not what stage are you at things like that so if you're nearing the end stages you can find um like a twin flame will come forward during this time so if you 
you have to know where you're at okay and you have to be honest with yourself where you are because you'll just um frustrate yourself more telling yourself well oh they haven't come back and you know you've got to know where you're at and be honest with yourself here um and this is about not wanting to miss opportunities so i feel like you will take up these opportunities i love all the fire that's in the reading so far it's because obviously it is leo season lion's gate so yeah all this fiery energy you'll be receiving a lot of positive energy and um light activation so getting out in the sun it activates your dna okay and the last card that just jumped out there was the wheel of fortune so um here like i said knowing what stage you're at with the moon in this card here um i feel like if you wasn't receiving offers that's what you things are going to turn around you're going to start to receive these offers now um a lot of positive energy coming your way so you know if things have been down don't focus on what's been down like i said i had a little tower moment myself and i really just was like no it isn't stopping me with a day i was back up i was happy and proud of myself like look i haven't just held on to this like get me down i've got myself back up you know the next day within a few days so um again gratitude so you know if you want to ground yourself say look i'm thankful like i'm thankful that i could go out and replace my equipment maybe previously i couldn't have done it straight away but now i'm thankful that i'm at a place where i can go out and replace my equipment straight away so yeah just counting your blessings will bring in more blessings this just isn't isn't just in lion's gate it's just it's all the time it really will you know um keep things going for you so let's say you was at the top of the wheel you know on top of your game and things seem to be spiraling down um so then what we need to do you know when the wheel of fortune turns because it turns both ways if you're if you're feeling like oh things just seem to be going a bit downhill at the moment then what i want you to do then is realize okay it's going a bit downhill let's turn things around again uh you know let's say what we're thankful for let's get back on track and let this wheel spin again for you so that positive abundance flows in for you here this is a lot of positive energy it seems like all these um planets are lining up in this card here it is just the moon this one but it seems like all the planets are lining up we've been through a lot of solar eclipses and things like that a lot of stuff going on so you know you can expect things to turn downwards it's not always just going to keep turning up it's going to you know turn downwards there so um if you do find that the wheel turns down for you that's exactly what i want you to do realize huh okay so let me get back to where i was let me take a minute ground myself um infuse all these positive things you know and um, get things moving again back in the right direction for me. I'm going to take these opportunities and I'm going to run with them here. So, yeah.